Hello, my name is James Kinsinger, and I'm going to be talking about the idea of raising a child uh, from the book Brain Rules for Baby, written by John Medina. And basically what the book talks about is the psychological and the physiological processes of a developing child from, you know, the fetus up until the age of five. So we're all born with this innate sense of right and wrong, and one of the goals of parenting is to help a child develop their moral reasoning. And there's three stages to moral development. The first is the pre-conventional stage where a child makes decisions based on, I don't want to get in trouble or I don't want to be punished. The second moral stage is the conventional stage where a child makes decisions based on, I don't want to get in, or I don't want my friends to think bad of me. Um, you know, like if I stole my friend's pencil, what would he think of me? Uh, then the first, uh, then the third moral stage is the post-conventional uh, which is, you know, you make decisions based on your moral, personal moral values and principles. So there's three parts to raising a moral child, you know, raising them the right way. The first is clear, consistent rules and rewards. Uh, the second is swift punishment. And the third is rules that are explained. Um, so starting with the first one, clear, consistent rules and rewards, it's important to be consistent. And that's with any aspect of parenting or you know, setting down rules or boundaries, it's, you have to absolutely be consistent. Um, and it's also important to positively enforce or reinforce good behavior. So praising your kid for their good behavior or you know, also praising them for the absence of bad behavior. So then for the second aspect of raising a moral child, um, swift punishment, that punishment needs to be immediate and consistent. Uh, so just kind of an example of this is, you know, it's not beneficial to a child to, you know, if a child, you know, disobeys you, uh, to discipline them two hours later because for a child, they don't have that association or that associative memory where, you know, you're punishing them, two, punishing them two hours later and they don't even know why they're getting punished. So punishment needs to be immediate and it also needs to be consistent. So every time they break a rule, you know, they need to be punished. Um, but the important thing about punishment is that, you know, kids need to be feel secure, they need to be emotionally safe, you know, even though they're being corrected. So swift punishment is basically operant conditioning where you're pairing a behavior with the response. So, you know, breaking a rule, you know, gets a negative, you know, I get punished for that, which is a negative feeling. Uh, and it makes it less likely for me to want to do that again because I didn't like the last time that I got punished because I didn't feel good. So there's two main types of punishment. The first is application where you know, you allow the children to make their mistakes and they get a natural consequence. So an example of this could be a child hopping up on a couch or on a table and they fall on the floor. You know, it didn't feel good to fall on the floor, but they learned that, you know, they can't just be hopping on tables and chairs and everything else and not have any consequences. Um, you know, another example of this is putting your hand on a stove, you know, you're going to get burned. You know, it's a natural consequence. So that's, you know, the first type of punishment application. So the second type of punishment is removal, where basically you take away things that a child values or at the time. So that could be toys or that could be, um, you know, the privilege to play with friends, you know, if you give a kid a timeout for not being nice to someone um, or, you know, grounding where, you know, they're not able to go and do things that they'd like to do. So that's the second type of punishment, which is removal. So then the third aspect of you know, raising moral kids is one of the very most important things is that rules should be explained. So I know I've seen in my own life, I've seen parents and even my own parents where my parents would set down boundaries or rules or other parents would. And when their children ask why, the parents just say, because I said so. Um, and this, you know, this kind of parenting is definitely authoritarian and it's not beneficial to the child, you know, even though you're laying down the boundary uh, very strictly, it's not beneficial to the child because according to Medina and in his book, compliance increases when a cognitive rationale is given. So it's important for kids to understand why a rule is being set down. And you know, when children know that their parents care about them and that the rules are in place to protect them, you know, kids are much more likely to obey those rules. So those were just a, you know, couple of things that I really learned and I really took to heart, you know, and that I feel like will help me be a better parent down the road. So thanks for watching this video and hope you have a good day.